Hello everyone! So before we start, we're going to play a game. Compose word. So here is the clue. So for the first word, the letters are R, F, T, e, T. E. And for the second word, we'll have letters F, L, A, L. So do you have any idea? So the answer is... So we're going to talk about free falling bodies. So what are the objectives? For number one is to learn what is free falling bodies. For number two is to describe the motion of an object in free fall and relate the motion of a freely falling body with constant acceleration. And for number three is to calculate velocity and time at various points in the motion of a freely falling object. So what is free falling body? Free fall is a common kind of motion which everybody can observe in daily life. If we drop something accidentally, we can see its motion. Subsequently, all objects free fall at the same rate of acceleration, regardless of their mass. So, free fall is the motion of a body when only the force due to gravity is acting on the body. And the air resistance of free falling object is negligible. So, here, are, here is the example. Everyone has observed the effect of gravity as it causes objects to fall downward. In the absence of air resistance, it is found that all bodies at the same location above the Earth fall vertically with same acceleration. Furthermore, if the distance of the fall is small compared to the radius of the Earth, the acceleration remains essentially constant throughout the descent. This idealized motion in which air resistance is neglected and the acceleration is nearly constant, it is, it is known as free fall. The acceleration of a free-falling body is called acceleration due to gravity. The acceleration will be presented by G, known as gravitational acceleration. So we'll have 9.81 meter per second squared and 32.2 feet per second squared. If it's going upward, we're going to have negative. And if it's going downward, we're going to have positive. So here are the equations for the velocity at any time, the coordinate at any time, and the velocity of any coordinate. So here are the sample problems. 24 meters above the ground and throws a ball upward at 16 meters per second. Determine the speed of the ball when it hits the ground below the plane. First, Identify our given values. For the initial velocity, we have 16 meters per second, distance, negative 24 meters, and the gravitational acceleration, we have negative 9.8 meters per second squared. It is negative because the ball was thrown upward. The problem requires final velocity or the speed of the ball when it hits the ground below the plane. And the equation we'll be using is the squared of final velocity equals squared of initial velocity plus 2 multiplied by the gravitational acceleration multiplied by the distance. As for our solution, substitute the given values to our equation. For the initial velocity, we have 16, the gravitational acceleration, negative 9.8, and the distance, negative 24. Calculate and we will get 726.4. To cancel out the square, we will put square root on both sides. And we will get 26.95 meter per second. 
We round it up and we will get 27 meter per second as the speed of the ball when it hits the ground below the plate. Hi, I'm Nasrin Jago Miran and we will have our sample problem number 2. Aaron throws a ball upward at 27.8 meter per second. Determine the time it takes for the ball to reach its highest speed. First thing we need to do is to we need to identify the given values. We have an initial velocity of 27.8 meter per second, a final velocity of 0 meter per second, and an acceleration of negative 9.8 meter per second squared. Then we need to find the unknown values or the required. The required is the time or t time it takes for the ball to reach it, its highest peak. Then we need to find next thing we need to find is the equation that suits for our required value. We have final velocity is equal to initial velocity plus acceleration times time. Now we will, we will solve for the unknown value using the substitution method by substituting the known values in the equation. Pf is equal to initial velocity plus acceleration by extent. Zero is equal to 27.8 meters per second plus negative 9.8 meter per second squared times time and time is equals to 2.834 seconds answer the final answer is for the for the the time it takes for the ball to reach its highest speed is 2.834 seconds and that's all thank you